seconds. Hey. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to use the bathroom up here. Ooh. Well, Popo. Ready for Here this. we are. Ten Quick game last game. I haven't gotten to cast a super long game, so I'm kind of hoping for one. Five seconds. But I got my legs under me for the last game. I'm ready to go. Warmed up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot of activity with the team fights, for sure, with the uh, bonds and ravages and synergy clips, short cooldowns with the ags on the OD. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I strongly favored Dire that last game. Yeah, I thought so too. Um, I was surprised by the um, the Ags rush on the OD. Uh, he, he wasn't really getting off to a, a lead, and um, that was a really greedy build, but the Ursa was having a good enough game that oh, yeah, uh, they matter. were able to make that work. And um, we were, I was at least thinking about the what the eggs gets him in that situation and um, gets him out of the pounce and it gets him out of the uh, kisses pretty easily so uh, you know there, there's a case to be made for the eggs there um, where if, you know four staff first for example doesn't quite get you out of the leash and doesn't necessarily get you out of the warmers kisses I think he knew he was gonna get blink dagger yeah yeah, I think he was. And it just feels so good with Blink Dagger because you can just get in, take two years out of the fight. You have your ulti already built up, and you saw a couple times he just dropped the hammer right away. Mm -hmm. I see the PA band. It's kind of interesting. Ten seconds. Yeah, we see uh, green captaining for Slob here. Five uh, green. Remain. So a little bit, uh, you know, there's different cohorts that have sort of uh, different uh, heroes that they see as uh, strong at different times, you know? Lich. Lich. What are you a fan of, uh, more? Are you a fan of uh, some cold pickles in the summer or some uh, good corn on the cob? Oh, man. I I love them both. Um, I had pickles today. I had no corn, so I'm going to go with pickles. Yeah. Can't go wrong with either. See the easy safe support picks always coming out first. I am a fan of always picking both your supports here. I'm never a fan of picking a core here, but we do see it sometimes. Snapfire. Gobbled up by the other team, you could say. <laughs> womp womp. Yeah. As far as uh, draft uh, draft theory and uh, gaming it, I think if you can, if you're planning a combo. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's. You know, I... we saw the jug band first phase last game, and I questioned it um, because mm -hmm. I just I feel like picking jug this early or even banning jug, he can be countered. Like I'm not. I wouldn't. I'm not worried about this jug pick right now if I'm radiant. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We, we were actually discussing that in the last game as well, where we saw, you know, Void and Sven, you have to deal with them. Like, you can you can play against them if you've got two or three heroes to deal with it, but they are just so strong right now. Inspector is almost as strong, but, you know, as we were talking, uh, you and I before, that you can play against Spectre. You can itemize yeah. against Spectre and, you know, and team play around it. But um, we were surprised to see the joke. <laughs> band uh, because you know he's he's always a stable hero and he is strong and he has a couple of different really viable builds right now you look at the mask of madness build you look at the straight battle fury build you look at uh he can build defusal uh just you know a, a good stable carry with self-sustain and some serious damage late game right but he doesn't just win games sven and void just win games period yeah yeah, I. Yeah, Void, I just never want to play against. It's just. He's just good against basically every hero. Yep. Yeah, we were seeing our. Uh, well, I, I saw today there was uh, an article from Dota Buff on their blog where they were talking about um, heroes that really 
end up shaping the meta. When they're strong, a lot of the meta ends up shaping around them. And oh, yeah. it was the first one that was listed there. And the, the main point was Chrono. Like, duh. <laughs> he can 1v1 any carry because he takes them out of the fight with no no ability for them to deal with it for five seconds and super late game. You know, five seconds he can just about kill anybody. Hmm, they banned the Slark. Uh, that makes me think they think the Jug's gonna be mid. Ten seconds I guess it could be, hmm. but I don't know that I would have wasted a ban on that. Five seconds. Yeah, I, I don't know about that either. I I would see what happens. I hope the Radiant switch it up. I hope they don't pick Tide here. I don't want to see the Tide snap. Give me something else. Give me Tide Night or uh, Snapfire t uh, Night Stalker. Give me something like that. Yeah, um, we've seen the Tide a few games, um, and I last week banned a tide instead of the mars and i went safe lane and i got punished by the mars you see the mars banned here yeah um i i thought team a uh, tide would make a better team fight for them in that particular comp and it just didn't matter like they picked mars anyway and he just stops lanes i think tide is a pretty weak laner right now and he has really no farming mechanism um if he's not if he doesn't have a great lane where he can hit a bunch of creeps the change to anchor smash oh, wow. is useless um if that's a four mag i don't love it but we'll see yeah exile really likes the hero um i would suspect that to be an off lane mag 10 seconds and he plays it pretty well i am not a fan of anything except core magnus <sighs> Uh, and by core, do you mean three or two? No, just he mid. Just, just mid. Just yeah. mid. Like, he just doesn't. He sucks up so much farm off the map um, as a three, and he's not. Agnes isn't great at taking that 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 dangerous farm on the map like some of the other offlaners are. He's gonna retreat on your jungle, and you're gonna you're just gonna lose some gold on your side of the map. It's just a greedier pick, and I'm never a fan of like. A Magnus that's I mean if Max poor he feels useless oh absolutely I've played that I don't know how many times in matchmaking games where it's like okay well I'm yeah, supposed to three and there's nothing and I've got an echo saber at 18 minutes what am I gonna do so that's that would be my only concern there um, and then if it is the four I'd like it even less obviously because I think that's even more greedy and I I'm not a fan of we have him for empower. It's yeah, just, it doesn't he's, feel worth it. He's just a worse tide hunter at that point. I guess the only thing that it does is pierce BKB. Okay, interesting. There's, I think they're just trying to keep their draft open. They could always put the Venge as a four or a five and put mag mid or offline or you know vice versa. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I think. You know, Exile's drafting here, so he, he likes to try to mix things up and keep his drafts ambiguous. I think sometimes he sort of pays the price by being, you know, neither here nor there. And this draft has potential to fall into that category. If this is a, you know, a, a mid-Magnus, um, you know, Jug is pretty self-sufficient. He can farm fast on his own. You don't, you're not worried about that. And in fights, you'll still get an empower on him if you're able to set up. Um, but the other side, they've got two heroes that want to start the fight, right? Doom and Snapfire want to start the fight. So it's going to be peculiar here. I think they're going to have a hard time getting the Empowers on <clears throat> the Juggernaut. So I wonder... Okay, so my bet would be that this is going to be an offlane Magnus. And they are going to so. last, last pick a mid here. And... It has to be. A, it has to be somebody who initiates besides Mag. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Be. That's what I was thinking. A team fight yeah. type mid here, um, or you know, initiating mid like a storm would be spirit. Ball or... Yeah, I was just about to say it'd be ballsy, but you could pick the storm spirit. You never love it into the doom, but ooh, interesting carry pick here. I wonder whether that'll be Cordy or Yams or Danks. Um, you know, they're all they've all played the hero. I would 
guess at this point that this is going to be Yams on Doom and Danks on Troll. If I'm Dire, I'm just picking Invoker. Yeah, I think that's a good pick. I think you just pick Invoker, maybe the Zeus if you want to get a little cute with it, but... Oof. I don't think Magnus is durable enough. I mean, they've got three heroes there that start a fight and you get punished if you stay in one spot as a Magnus here. Honestly, I've been playing it a lot. Not a lot, but I've been playing it a decent amount. I think it's a good hero right now. And it's... If you can get ahead in levels, it's pretty good. And I think it's a Weaver. I wouldn't... I wouldn't hate to see a Weaver come out for for dire mid and just figure out the fucking the lanes. Hmm. Uh, you know, sort of like the Storm Spirit, the Doom is always a oh, yeah. potential problem for Weaver here. But you know, you're you're pretty fast, especially late game. Yeah, you take the Sercucci talents, and if you're able to snag a, qu a quickening charm, and then obviously at level 25, you 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 can't be caught. You can outrun the Snapfire ultimate. Jakira's never going to be able to stun you. Sure, you got to worry about the troll getting lucky on a bash, but... So let's see here. Uh, this is definitely going to be a mid-hero, and it's going to be a Cordy hero. I see the Void Spirit is still in the pool. Um, I think that's a great pick here. Somebody who can get locked down one hero, zip in, immediately start the Snapfire ult over top of that. Um... What about the sniper? Oh, there it is. Good call. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a great pick here. It makes me like Razor a lot for uh, Pickle. It just feels safe. Yes, along those safe hero lines. What about a Death Prophet? Oh my god, it's a Lone Druid. Oh boy, they've, <laughs> That's they've flowers. Got... Yep, that's on yeah. my chart. That is on my chart. Yeah, they've got a chance to get run over here. Um, mm, that's good against the troll. Yeah, Who's definitely. Troll? Tanks. Tanks is always known to play greedy and farm a little bit riskier than he should. Hmm. Yeah, he usually that gets Cordy himself out Void of trouble. Spirit. They're trying to figure out the, the team bottom, it looks like. Oh, interesting. I expected to see... Oh, this will be Nick on the Magnus. Yeah, okay. Oof. They, they were discussing whether Nick wants to play Core or Initiator. I think I like this is... Or more. <laughs> I think this is the right call. Um, I mean, they can both play either one of those heroes, but based on this matchup, I, I like how Nick moves around the map and has, has that instinct of where he needs to be 45 seconds from now. I know that he, if that's it, like I talked about earlier about playing the, the greedier Magnus and being poor, I have more faith in him not being poor, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. He just knows how to move around and I'm confident that he, I think he'll have a good lane on this mag. I mean, it's not great. What a sick doom set. <laughs> yeah. I like that lich too. Did you see the new winter treasures? They're not great. Uh, I have not taken a look at them yet. Yeah, they got released I think yesterday. They're not great. Okay, as I understand you are the cameraman. Uh, did you want to mostly do play-by-play uh, -play as you watch around or you want me to do some play-by-plays and grab you for color or what's... Uh, uh, how you it doesn't roll? matter. I can do... Uh, I like doing play-by-play. -play. All right. I can do both confident great all righty well we have on the radiant side we have uh green on the snapfire yams on the doom cordy on the void spirit uh danks on the troll and uh rin on the jakiro on the dire side we see nick on the mag dr krieger on the lich flowers on the lone druid uh exile on jug and um tried on the vengeful spirit Nothing too shocking about the lanes. Uh, I thought maybe the Lich would go top, but... Mm -hmm. See a Battle Fury queued up immediately by Exile here. Um, 
curious to see him going straight for that, given that they're going to have uh, Lone Druid as well. That might be a little slow. I, I would like to see him be thinking about uh, Phase Boots and a Mask of Madness. Yeah. And okay. then decide going back for the Metal Fury potentially. A lot of contesting going on. Bot lane, Doom taking a little bit of harass here. He a could be in damage. trouble. Lich has blast up in one second. Magnus. And he took power the is still there. Hey, he should be dead here. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, he's dead. There it is. You saw it here first, folks, live on camera. Nice job, Krieger. All right, well, I was going to ask you who you thought was going to get first blood, but... Uh, Dr. Krieger. Yeah, how about, uh, give me, give me a spicy prediction for this game. Give me, give me a prediction. Um, I think that from what we've seen so far, the, the game plan for Dire is too greedy. I think they are going to fall behind. And unless they, unless Radiant lets up for some reason, and with Cordy on the Void Spirit, as aggressive as he likes to play that hero, I don't think they will let up. I think that this will be relatively one-sided. I'll call it uh, 35 minutes. 35 Ooh. minutes for the Radiant. Um, with a 15 kill advantage. Oof. Okay. I like it. It's definitely spicy. I think, uh... Man, I just, I like this Lone pick too much. But we'll see. Early on, Void Sphere head on CS. They both have a ward mid lane. Top lane, they bring the Lich up top. Yep, to deal with the tri lane here. And I, I like this choice actually. Um, Doom's gonna get his dual lane, tri lane, doesn't matter. Or dual lane, solo lane, whatever. Doom's gonna get his. Let's just make sure that the uh, troll has a really good game and is able to slow down Juggernaut. Very true. Uh-oh, Jug getting gone on though. My only uh, gripe with this is um, I've played a decent amount of Troll and I don't know, I just, I really like, Troll does well with levels. So they need to get a lot out of this lane. Like he needs to farm very well. And this Jug could be dead. Just farm, just farm Juggernaut. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Venge is not great in tri lanes. Um, I say that as they're about to kill, and they do. But I still stand behind. I don't think Venge is that good in tri lane. She doesn't offer as much as other heroes do on a tri lane. Uh, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, the, the aura is nice. The stun is such short range. And the wave of terror, at, you know, this early in the game just doesn't do very much. Yeah. We'll see what skill build they go. I think they should max wave, but we'll see. Uh, still early on, Void Spirit leading CS 16 and 2 to the Mag 10 and 4, bottom lane. Uh, we see Mag 11 and 5 to the uh, Doom 11 and 2, so Mag's gonna have a good lane. This is exactly what this Mag needs. Yep. Um, and we gotta remember that's gonna be a maximum power coming out real early on for this Jug, unless yep. uh, unless the Mag does go greedy and goes in the jungle, which he might have the ability to do. Jug top lane again, he spins. He'll be alright, but. He did not skill healing ward, so... And he has no regen. Yeah, Jakiro. It's gonna be extremely annoying and troll with the range. I almost think you 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 swap lanes, right? If you're dire right now? Um... Well, that's that's a big question. Um... You know, XL's not getting very much out of this. Maybe you just put them... Maybe you swap Mag and Jug. I think the solo lane for Magnus is really good here. Um, you want him to be able to get his levels early and move mm -hmm. around. I think I think they can afford to sacrifice a little space on the Juggernaut for now, but he cannot go straight for this Battle Fury if they're going to do that. I mean, technically, like you guys said, I think focusing on attacking camps and then Magnus just empowering Jug to kind of power level through the jungle. Yeah, I, I kind of think that is their plan. Um, but Jug obviously has to be careful top. He sticks, he'll be all right. Um, 
Jug has to understand that's the plan, and he's gonna have to recover at some point. I mean, they need to be able to understand that. Yeah, um, I mean, they should be. Able to, they should start stacking camp. Yeah. Yeah, they're kind of standing around a little bit here. Void Spirit with the early bottled boots. Mid lane has an invis bottle, but spare half HP. But he does have a resummon if it gets low. Bottom and, lane. And we do Jug. see exile go yeah. by. So yeah. He's had enough. Well, Mag is level five, so yeah, yeah, I think they're they're swapping at a good time. Exactly. You, you don't need seven or eight on Magnus. You just needed a good quick start so he's yeah. got three levels in empower he can go walk through the jungle they can get a couple levels on the i think he should top. go top and kill yeah but this exile is the minute he gets doomed i think he'd be that's it yeah i think y you know that's the risk though i mean yeah. he's already he's probably gotten yeah he's got he had 11 last hit stop he already has seven bottom <laughs> he'll take that any day of the week yep probably, yeah. I think they're okay with this though, right? Um, I mean, Danks is getting what he wanted. He's getting oh, yeah. good CS. Good. Uh, they got some good denies, so he's off to a good start. But now they've got a level five Magnus who's going to come here. He doesn't care about a level three Snapfire. Like whatever. I think everybody's kind of happy with how their lanes are going right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, Jug didn't want to die there, but no. Other, other than that. Like, he's, he's fine with this. I think Mag's gonna skill RP at 6. I think he'll probably take one more point in something else. Yeah, I would. I think he could even hold another point. I think he wants it at 7, because he's gonna know that uh, Cordy is gonna go somewhere, and he's gonna wanna dive. And just have it, have it available. I just don't see a way they can kill that easily but i could totally be wrong yeah I, right now i don't think it's actually about kill yeah. i think it's just about the if, threat if there's a dive yeah. it's a way to sort of disengage mid lane ld leading cs not by much though it's only a three cs difference bottom lane would be interested to see if this doom goes minus and we see the doom come out right away in the a lot of hp no tps yet interesting he should be dead, but this There's dooms no nah, TP. He should. He's got a ring of health and a ring of regen. He's dead. No yeah, TP he's dead. to even deny. That's. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we knew it was going to happen. Um, luckily, it's only 20 seconds. It's not that the end of the world for him. Yeah, there's TPs on VS and Lich, though. I. Hmm. That was good. They pulled back the lane. The lane resets bottom. I mean, a TP into the tier 2 there, at least brush that Doom back and get a deny on the Jug. Are you guys a fan of Midas on Doom or no? Uh, it depends. I know a lot of people just make the argument, why spend the gold when you already have one built in? But I can tell you, I'm not a fan of the drums on Doom for the simple fact, uh, if you're anticipating the game going late, which I don't know if they are, um, that drum slot's going to be useless pretty quickly. Mid lane... Void Spirit does have one uh, Astral Step left. Haster in top, he'll try to sneak up there and get it. I wonder if Flowers will sniff this out. Oh, that's, like it. that's a kill rune for sure on a Void Spirit. Yeah, he's got to be careful. But He'll go he top have, of it for sure, yeah. right? He wants to find Nick. Who does not have RP? He did has skill skewer. He has mango. Oh, he um, hits bottom with the Hastern. They want to kill Jug, and they will. Yeah, dead. Nothing he can do about it. Oh, he, he yeah, I was going to say, Lich is definitely dead. Yeah. This is that Hastern, right? It's just so good on that hero. Your life no purpose. It's like it used to be on Pudge, right? It's just a guaranteed kill somewhere on the map. See Mag queuing up the blink right away. Wait, they're gonna go on this troll. Oh, nice RP. Catches both of them, but whirling axes, they're not gonna be able to hit this nice troll. Nice back. Troll, not six. They gotta be careful here. And both parties just disengage. Yeah, that's a tough kill on that tr on that troll. See, he's level five. He's headed bottom now. He's... 
Kind of had enough. He wants to go down here and take this Dude, tower. Dude, off cooldown. Let's we'll see if they drop it on this jug again. He has phase or uh, drums this time. He can definitely run him down. We do see the Omni slashes up. The full creep wave jug, there. He senses this. He yep. sees it. I don't know if he actually got sight of Danks between I that tree line or not. Yeah, he, they have the ops there. Yeah, they have ops. Ah, there. yeah, yeah, that's theirs. Nice. Yeah, he says I'm no, no bueno, no thank you. I'm out. Nick, very low uh -oh. in the jungle here. Top lane, Ben just dead. Unfortunate walk into the void spirit there. Uh, this is also where I think Vengeful Spirit feels really useless. Mag mid, he's low. Doom dropped out. Oh, jug again. Krieger needs to chase him and deny this jug if he can. I, he doesn't have enough regen even under a tier 3 tower here. Oh man, they gotta punish that. This dude is just running wild. And... I wonder if he's gonna go blink dagger. We see the root come out. He's under tier two, so he's very deep here. They need to punish us. Secure the back comes nice in. Path available. Oh, he cliffs some. Well played. Puts him on the cliff. Skewer. Oh my God. Well played. He stops the TP Shot and he skewers him. Wow. Well, you talked about folks. him. Yeah, you talked about him. You know, being able to move around on the map and do things like that. <laughs> That was a very, very cool play. Yeah, snazzy. I do think they would have probably died either way, but still sick. Just totally closes off the escape route for oh, Doom yeah. there, right? I mean, Doom is so fast and he had another drum charge coming up, but he might have gotten out of there. Oh, this troll's so low. Oh, if he sees him with that wave, that's a stun, but... He doesn't even have enough for ulti. He's trying to clarity up. That definitely would have been a kill. Yep, if that wave of terror hits him. Mid lane, we see the LD starting to pressure up a little bit more. He has Mask of Madness phase on his bear. He's up he high. Definitely, yeah, he can hit this. 8 CS, but he's down by 600 gold. Um, we notice... Ooh. Nice. Point oh. Spirit is going for that Orchid first. I yep. do like that play over the Yules. Yeah, I think that's really, really good against the uh, Juggernaut. Right. I'm worried for this uh, this LD on the back lines, honestly. Mm -hmm. Can he get that? Oh. No root Mid there. swap, no root, yeah. Did he top? Uh, Cordy sniffs this oh, up. Look the at flowers is there faster with the bear. Oh, in the bear. Ooh, he's getting so lucky he's not getting rooted. He would, would I think he would have died there. Yeah, he would have definitely died. They're yeah, really used his they're, last. They're poking this bear. They're asking for it. It has a DD. I'm not sure they want to go into this. Judge the power. The power. Yep. And we see Exile has changed builds. He's not going to go for the Battle Fury. That's a good yeah, call for him. I yeah, good call. Uh, he does yeah. have the Iron Talon. And as we know, Popo thinks that's the best item in the game. I do. That is the best tier one item in the game. What about you, uh, Matt? What do you think about the Iron Talon? It's good, but if you jungle, I think if you're not jungle. I just think it's so valuable on the ancients, and we see a big Snapfire. fight happening. Snapfire ulti, Max the back tries to cancel it. it. Venge is low, this uh, Jakira getting a lot of ult now. Here comes the bear. They do doom the LD, but he gets his ulti off. I'm surprised that doesn't cancel it. He's just going to man up and fight what he can. He's, He's got, got the mag to back him up. He's, he can live through this. He's just a couple of body blocks, but there will be a dissimilate here. Oh, nice big RP. RP. And he's dead. Nice huh. patience by Nick there. He actually interrupted the uh, the cast. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I'm very surprised that uh, Doom didn't stop true form as it was as he was transforming. I thought that would mm -hmm. instant stop that. I mean, that definitely kept him alive. Yeah, and you see, he's full HP all of a sudden with this Mask of Madness on the bear. Radiance top tower is in danger. Okay, we so, see the Venge getting a glimmer. Do you like that? Couple of nice little exchanges there. Um, go the way of the Dire. They have. Um, let's take a look at the win probability. Um, it was leaning Radiant with those couple of rotations from Cordy. Um, almost 60%, let's say, but now it's back to just about 50-50. Oh, Those interesting. The, the Doom goes back for the Midas after the drums. I'm 
I'm not sure why he would choose to do that, but maybe he thought the game would go early and now he changed his mind. But he's running at this mag. He skewers him out, but I think that's a dead mag. And it is. Bench, or Lich TP's in. It's a 3v2, or 3v1. Akupire's down. He drops Chain the ult, is out. Chain he... thrust is bouncing. Any more lucky? No. A little unfortunate there. Level 1, almost no damage. Now we start to see Lone Druid and Juggernaut struggling yep. for the same farm. This is where it gets a little bit risky, right? But we do see the Basher almost done on the bear, which is really scary. And they Big swap mid. Fortunate, not able to get him locked down. Cordy's Orchid is done. We see the troll. He almost has his Diffusal Blade done. He's He basically has it done. He's going to snatch that bounty rune. Grab some Ancients here real quick. He's got to be careful, though. If he gets rooted by the bear, he's dead. Yeah, he's got to be careful. This One more attack. He's getting oh, there it is. is. Uh, he has his ult. This is where he feels so good. He's just going to hit bear, and it's not... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Wow. It's sort of unfortunate for him. He just saw... Flowers mid. Uh, we've got no, a silence out lane. on the Magnus. And he's all right. Mag, thousand off the blink, opted not to rush directly for it, getting the soul ring I like. Always had mana problems on that hero. Yeah, it's, it's been a perennial question. Do you buy a bottle? It feels bad, then you're trying to get to ruins. It's soul ring. farming. Soul ring 100% of the time. You get the gauntlets of strength, the armor, feels good. Oh, is he gonna get this arcane? He is. Well played by him. They should smoke and look to use RP with that. Yeah, especially since it's not bottled. We see the duration here is uh, 42 seconds left. They, that's plenty of time to make a move, but they've got to make yeah. it, right? They have, they have all, everybody's all, Jug definitely doesn't need to be with them, but they could, they could definitely look for this Doom top if he, sh yeah, he does show. Yeah, this is pretty farmed. He's 9,700. He's, He's opting for, her. yeah, that Midas is, and he almost, wow, he almost has a halberd done. Uh-oh, we do see action happening. He does have he, RP, but he gets doomed. Dooms the Magnus, nice call. Rolling there. axes out. Oh, but this LD just hits so hard. Root. And they should be able to deny him. Oh, and they don't. 40. Void Spirit comes back in, lines. blows He'll them all up. Eventual Spirit. He gets the swap off. Nice, well played. He doesn't have any more actual Yeah, he's dead. It's the Basher, they need a run. Oh man, and the Empower Bear really hits hard. Still no Ice Path skill done, Ren. I think this is a misplay here. Two points in Liquid Fire. That's a dead snap. That's a scary death. And they did exactly what we said. They can fight without the Jug. Jug fought him in the entire time. Mm -hmm. He's coming up on that S and Y. Oof. Oof, look at that bear. Oh my yeah, God. that's a that's rampage. A jack. Yep. Wow, we've been getting a lot of rampages today. Wow. Uh, so much for my prediction. They were able to uh, Still make it happen with the bear. But that's a huge turn, effect. though. Yeah. I still think they have, like, Troll can still win this game. It's just a very hard Troll game. Opting to go to the S and Y and then a BKB. Claw. Take a look at the neutral items real quick. For the Dire side, we have a Clumsy Net and a uh, Grove Bow. Dire side, or Radiant side, we just have them claw out for tier twos. And they put it on the Void Spirit. Take a look at levels. Uh... Lone Druid with the, those, all those kills, and especially a couple solo kills towards the end there. He's level 15, uh, two levels up on Cordy. He's almost 16, and Cordy's almost 14. You know, when I asked you about a, uh, a bold prediction, I almost was going to say my bold prediction is going to be that Lone Druid doesn't die once this game, but I really thought Void would get him. But big fight! Mag has no mana for RP, but he has Soul Ring. They're just going to disengage. Except for Krieger. <laughs> yeah, and he's dead. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, I think Lone Druid might not die this game, and he is 10 and 0 right now. Five of those being Rampage. 10 0 and 0. I'll yeah. do it myself. Yeah. And he's running straight into them here. He's really not afraid. He's got another bear. They have swap in. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Right, you either get bashed or rooted. It feels really bad. 
And now Jug joins the team. And they're just gonna rush. Yash is done. I see lots of pings coming out for Roche. Nick Void scouted Spear. the high ground here. Void Spear opting for the Eels now. Blinks forward, gets Courier. Doom going for the Shiva's guard. I think I would actually like a Hex a little bit more, but... Roche goes down pretty quick. I got Wave Terror and the Mask Madness Bear. Oh yeah, it's, it's down. <laughs> We see Basher complete on the bear. We are seeing him go for an MKB next. Deal with that blind from the whirling axes. And yeah, I was gonna say he almost has enough gold for it. Order in in the bank. We do see the blink is done on uh, Magnus. So he's not the reveal or anything. He's used it a few times, but gotta, gotta keep that in mind. This. Clip comes out, but nobody here to defend. Uh, green standing around with Shakira wondering do we defend this? Do we use our ults? Uh... Oh, immediate smoke. That. Tower may have been up for vision still. There's a de there's a delay. Yeah. Uh oh. Void Spirit jumps in, he's trying to bump this back right away. But he gets out. Oh he's got it. He's able to get out for now. He has the DD. Troll on the back lines. Looking to man up on this jug. They're hitting the bear. Bear's almost down. There's Lone a DD Drew. on Cordy here. Lone Drew's get getting low, but he has Aegis. Doom comes out on the jug. Troll. Low HP, but he has Five ulti still. Oh, and big RP. Lone Drew coming back. He's got to summon bear. Uh oh, Lone he gets heals out of the fight. Up. Magnus is dead. Lone Two extra steps and a, and a York. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, they were so close to getting that, uh, that Void Spirit. Yeah, that was a really nice play over here. He had to dissimulate on the edge of the cliff and was able to just barely get wow. down. That's a 7k XP change and a 2500 gold swing. Void is pretty slippery. And uh, looking at the damage numbers, we see uh, 3k done by Troll. So, Dax is ready to fight with that Yasha and the Diffuser Blade. He doesn't need oh, a yeah. whole lot. See a little skirmish here on the high ground. They should high ground right now. There's no bear for 70 seconds. It, they should know that off of him resummoning last fight. They should just group his five and go high ground. There's no RP. What are you afraid of? This That's dude doesn't it. care. Interesting aggressive call. Um, you know, the, the Roche is not available. There's what do you, yeah, what do you do here? Well, you either farm or you take buildings. Yeah, you could clean up uh, tier twos, but yeah, Cordy's in. if I was on that, yep, this Venge is dead. Oh, oh Glimmer Cave. Cave. Bang. Oh. Nice little play there. Yeah, I would, I would have been calling right away. No bear, let's go. Well, they clean up a tier two. Tier two mid is already down, right? Exile trying to catch up a little bit here. He finishes the S and Y, headed for a basher. I suppose that's to deal with the troll and the white spirit. Interesting that nobody on the dire side is saving buyback. I think that's a mistake. You lose one fight. There's a troll and, on the board. And, yeah, and, and then your lanes are pushed in, your towers are gone. You're gonna lose racks. And the cores on Radiant are pretty experienced at ending games mm -hmm. so if they're not the gonna push yeah yeah they're, they're not gonna push up high ground without their lanes being in position right so they're, they're looking at the position here here saying okay can we can we try to break can we take a fight what what if we take a fight now you know, they're just not gonna fight without those lanes in position to take a and we see Jug just needs up for items. I mean, that's all you do. Just keep farming. Empower Jug. Jug's is eventually sure, going right? to be... Oh, and they do scan him out. They see the troll top. Yeah, troll would love this regen rune followed by a smoke. I'd like to see maybe somebody get a Vlad's on... Uh, on Radiant side to help this troll out with some lifesteal. We see... Opposite motion here yeah. on the bottom lane. I don't think you can outpush with the LD. 
Although you do have troll, but bear's ridiculous. Well, they'll give this full tier two with a glyph, and they'll try to push high ground, try to get them to return. Tier two falls, and Dyer is immediately retreating. They either glyph up. Multiple so. TPs. They want to fight. RP is ready. They catch this jug out. They, 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 they want to take this tower and just get out. That's yeah. good chip damage, good disengage. Yeah. Very nice. Green's got to be careful here. Okay, now this is where your teams get caught. This troll is showing bottom right now. Dire need to be screaming, run and catch whoever you can. There's no troll. Fight, catch anybody you can. And now they're going to show the Void Spirit even. They yeah. Too, though. They should be able to jump yeah, they, they know. This they is exactly what you have to do. He'll blink forward. You With have to. On him. Yeah. They won't waste an RP on just a solo Doom, though. Ooh, they're lucky to not get caught. That's a, that's a, I know you want to push out lanes, but that's like a, a, a big mistake is TPing on a core and, and your support's not getting out right away because it's they know there's no core there. They're going to come play you. Uh, there is a pretty strong disengage on the, the rest of the Radiant there, though, right? We've got the Ice Path, the Macro Fire, and the Nerdrifter's Kissers. That, that's kind of a dangerous chase. I think that is a really good point, though. Um, you see that core is not present. Yeah. We hear the Orchid out here. A uh, bunch of spirit getting caught, but no dust on Cordy. He's going straight for the Ags. Doesn't have a slot. Still holding the bottle. It's actually, it's kind of the same concept of um, when a team has Aegis and you're just trying to split push and get somebody to TP back. So when they do, you know you can take a 4v5 when you TP back to defend. It's the little plays like that that just can help you win the game. So, Matt, you play a lot of offlane. Um, if you're looking at this Magnus right now, what are you what are you thinking? Like, what is your game plan, item my, item wise, or what are you asking from your team? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, Magnus wise, you know, I'd probably say something maybe along the lines of a big KB. But really, I don't I mean I don't play Magnus. I usually do one or two heroes and I just grind through. Mm -hmm. I don't know that'd be a good good question. I think I think he's got the right item queued up in Lotus. Yeah. You put Lotus on bear and you can siege at any point, really. That's true. We see both supports for the Radiant off here separated. Uh, just kind of pushing and farming and... Flower is still not holding buyback. What about this Jug? Jug, no buyback. These... these there's no core that have buyback. Is this is what's happening? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's just two, the two supports that are farming jungle that have buyback. I get it's 27 minutes, but it still feels pretty risky. So Radiant is in that kind of strange spot. I mean, we do see a BKB done on Troll, so they're they're stronger than they were a couple minutes ago. Um, but they're in that strange spot where they're looking at there's a Jug and a Lone Druid. If we don't break high ground here. This game gets really hard really fast. You wonder if they're calling for uh, checking Roche. We, uh, yeah, like Void's, just Void's been uh, checking uh, his spirit in there to continue to scout it out. We see a lot of vision coming coming bottom. Looks like they do kind of just want to play this opposite of the map, wait for Roche. Full MQB is finished they're, on. They're, they're dying for this Roche to spawn. Lone Druid going for that full Abyssal Blade. Has the Vanguard on him for now, which is a good smart play. I really like this positioning by Radiant. Yeah. They want the Roche, so they're playing at. Oh, they're going to lose their. Ground. They're going to lose their tier two, but they're going to give up their tier three. And their racks are going to go quick. They don't have Cliff. Yeah, I think that's a good oh, play. Oh, big go RP skewer to back. the skewer in. And Omni Slash dropped round. out. Troll not able to get Omni or his ultimate off. Doom comes out on the jug, he can just disengage with the spin, he has the move speed. Here's that Glimmer that Cape, enough. still doing work. Eventual Spirit doesn't go down. They call for back, Troll's gone. We notice that Roche is very soon now, within a minute. Uh oh, they just gotta get out. Maybe not, uh, they're Mag not gonna Mag go back in. 
But LD's still alive. They have no doom. They, this bear's gonna hit hard. Albert is out. On Jug's the bear. coming back in. Scatterbass is slowing down a little bit. The whistle the is there. Blade, it's done. And he gets rooted again. Stun comes out, and they're able to finish him off. Just a little dual breath to clear out the bottom wave here. It's a small thing, but it's a big thing. Or, you know, big play there. Uh, important factor. Got to keep those waves out. You don't want that casual damage on T3s. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would like to see another wave pushed out there, but we do see Gamses in the neighborhood to clean oh, up some of that. Oh, Lundrude should put that repair kit on himself. Oh, uh, this is so unfortunate for the Radiant. Yeah, this is really this unfortunate. And Troll just got scouted by the errant wave of terror. But he does know it's happening. Would you buy back here in the Void Spirit and go for this? To 15 seconds. Ooh, they have. They don't have kisses. They do have macro fire. Yeah, they're not even gonna. There's a DD bottom, but we don't see the snapfire getting the axe this game. Interesting enough. I wonder if they were uh, paying attention to the cooldown. We see that the kisses are now available uh -oh. again. Just troll. He's farming really greedy for a rush being taken. He's, he's, he's got a BKB and get out of here. I think. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't just RP. Oh, nice patience by Danks there to not use that BKB though. He knows that it just goes through the RP, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah, that was the only way he was gonna die. Oh man, we see the Cancer build coming out on the, uh, the Lone Druid. He's gonna get the Axe. He's silenced on the back line though. Not He's got Aegis. But we saw what happened last time when he had Aegis, so... Yep. Mag patiently on the back lines, almost level 3 uh, ulti. Cheese and an Abyssal Blade on the uh, Juggernaut. He's close to his level 20. I think they just send the bear high ground and let it hit it. Do they have Lotus Stun? No. See a Yule's coming up on the ledge. Interesting. I usually when I play Jug, and I don't think many Jug players take it, but he took the um, Blade Fury move speed, and it actually got him super far away from that Doom last fight when he got doomed because he got the spin mm -hmm. off first. Yeah, 100 movement speed is no joke. Big wave top. Spare's hitting for 300 with some power. Yeah, I think they need to just back and and welcome the fight on the high ground. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Like they don't they don't want to risk the time of all these other lanes pushing in. They just want to take the fight as soon as possible here and see what happens. I would try to swap the dude then. Oh, and they. They're Free just back. Kisses. Yeah, that's, that's a little uh, unfortunate. Freebie. And he has resummon on the bear, so he's not too concerned, but he'd rather hold it. Alright, this will be the abyssal reveal on the juggernaut. I would just go. Oh, yeah. they do. They all go on the bear. Big RP. But they're in the macro pyre and ice path. Mag getting low. We see the lone druid. He's trying to man up. Trolls focusing him with the BKB. But the halberd. Jug spinning away. LD on the back line's getting low, but he's fighting this. That up. Troll getting yep. rooted, gets his ultimate off, gets the Aegis. The bear's Lundry looking could be it. in trouble. He has, yep, he has Savage Roar. Doom gets dropped on the Jug in the back lines. They're both dead. Again, this Aegis fight not working out. Really well played by the Radiant there to uh, suppress that. I'm curious what. 16k. 4,000, 4,700 done. XP change. Wow. Uh, no buybacks for the Radiant. Five not for a, zero. Yeah, not a single death. Tower is under wow. I'm surprised that the Jug came back in and uh, fell. He was unable yeah. to deliver any damage. Um, I think his Abyssal was back off cooldown. I don't like the decision to go right for the Abyssal Blade. He has no damage. No stats either. Yeah, well, he, is, he really doesn't have that much. I mean, he has empowered, sure, but like if he doesn't have it on him, he does no damage. 
You just have the S and Y, so it's something. Yeah, yeah. Really aggressive blink by, not blink, but move there by Radiant. This Doom has 70 regen when he's devouring a creep. And this is what we talked about, not having buyback. I think they're just, would have been okay with losing those regardless, but. So here's what, sort of what we were talking about, right? The, the two lanes are pushed in, so they're ready to move right away. Even if all those creeps on the one. Oh, he gets the scare back on the nice Doom. Is it going to do anything, though? Mag might just be in trouble himself. Creeps are there. No way, yeah. This Mag has, they should just back. Yep. Uh, RP is up. Buy back they on. They don't. Yeah. Oh, he's got to be careful. BKB is on cooldown. Void Spear getting low. Troll uses those ulti. Yeah, he swaps them back in. I don't know if that was the play. Lord Judy's getting locked down. He has no way to attack. Cordy very low taking tower shots. Troll looking to man up against this Lone Druid. He doesn't care, but... Juggernaut cleaning up on the back line, but he's fighting three. Doom is there. He's got an oh, Infernal he Blade. Caught. He needs... He doesn't have spin. He's got a third healing ward. He definitely could have lived there. Uh, but we see the buyback coming out in the Vengeful Sphere. The Lone Druid looking at Cordy. Cordy's playing eight, very three. close. This might just be game over. This bear can't do anything. This Doom is just punishing this bear with Infernal Blade. Bear will fall again. And he has no resummon. It's over. Stun is there. 69 regen. There's a Doom available. He won't use it. He'll wait for uh, Exile to come back yeah, up. He doesn't need to. It's, yeah. So, there you go. Interesting game. Um, interesting. 35 minutes, 15 kill lead for the Radiant. Huh. The, uh, we'll have to check the uh, replay call. Yeah, right? That, there you go. That is a, uh, a game lost off quickly. of two Aegises, right? Yep. Both Aegis fights, just disastrous. Indeed. Yeah, I will have to go back and check that uh, that fight on the tier three top. I thought that they would engage with those two abyssal blades and just stop that fight, but they went on the same target. A lot of good ulties coming uh, coming out from the lich, or not the lich, uh, the GQ. Ice pass and macro pyre were spot on. Very good. Well played, everybody. Well played.